Hi there, my name is Joe. I am one of the vets here at Vet for Life, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the importance of keeping a check on your animal's body condition score. So, what does that mean, body condition score? Essentially, it is a way that we can measure um, your animal's weight without it just being a number on the scale, but we do it by feel. And the reason why feel is so important is because different animals can be different sizes and actually, numerically, one weight for one animal may mean that they are overweight, whereas for another, they may be completely normal. So essentially, by going on feel, we can make a far more accurate um, description of your animal's weight. So there are a few things that we look at um, when we are measuring body condition score. One of the first things that we'll do is that we'll feel down the ribs. And the reason why we do that is because uh, as an animal progressively loses weight or it also gains weight, um, you will notice a real difference within uh, the feel of the ribs. So if you lose quite a bit of weight, the ribs become far more obvious and you can really feel that they're very, very bony. Whereas if an animal puts on weight, you get fat pads which start to develop over the ribs. And what this means is that a rib that you could feel quite nicely when they're a normal weight becomes quite cushioned by a fat pad. So that's the first thing that we look at. The second thing we look at is we look from the top to see how tucked an animal is just in front of its hip. And so what we mean by that is that if, um, if we look from above and there is a lot of tucking, so by tucking I mean that um, it is um, very, um, so it's very tight along the, along the top. Um, if there's a lot of tucking, then we know that actually they haven't, um, are you pausing that? No. So the second thing we look at when we are uh, assessing body condition score is we will look at the waist. So essentially, we'll have your animal in front of us and we'll look down and what we'd like is for them to have a nice hourglass waist. So uh, we want to avoid that the waist is too thin and also that we get accumulations of fat like love handles just on the side. The um, last thing that we will look at is we will look then at the tummy, so the underneath. Um, we'll be looking to see what the slope of uh, the tummy is. If we're too thin, then there may be too steep a slope of the tummy, and if we have too much weight, then uh, the excess fat will mean that the slope is quite shallow. So those three ways are very quick things that we can do in order to get a good idea as to the overall weight or body condition score of your animal. In terms of what we do from that, if your animal maybe is a little bit too large when we perform our body condition score, we may suggest certain diets which are available these diets are quite good because they will help your animal lose weight because they'll feel just as full as if they're on normal food, but the food itself will either swell in its tummy to make it feel a bit fuller, or it will have a lower calorie density, so it can still eat the same amount, but it won't be absorbing as many calories. Another reason why we can have a large body condition score is that we are eating too quickly and we're not feeling full as a result of that. So things like puzzle feeders which we have here will help to slow the rate that your animal will be eating so that then they feel fuller for longer and then they will stay at a good body condition score. To summarize body condition score, there are the three things that are very important. So the first thing is the ribs. Make sure that you can feel the ribs, but you can't see them. That way, you'll be sure that they'll be at a good weight. The second thing is that we want to make sure that there is just the right amount of waist. It's not too small and it's not too large. 
The third thing we are looking for is we're looking for the slope of the tummy. We want to make sure it's not too steep or too shallow. It is perfectly in the middle. And when you come into a consultation with us, we'll be more than happy to show you uh, what it feels like uh, and uh, any further tips as to help you maintain the best body condition score for your animal.